what's up guys today we're gonna to be talking all about how to optimize your fps your frames in game so your game runs smoother and looks really nice at the same time let's go through all the settings and talk about them we're going to be going through all the settings to make your game look as smooth as this so let's talk about what this means on the benchmark so here i have my frames capped to 270 so you're here you're going to see the occasional dip but it's still over 240 so i'm viewing at 240 so as long as it's over 240 i'm not losing any frames so occasionally there's gonna be like a nitro or something or explosive and it will drop your frame somewhat so having a frame cap is going to help out a lot and we'll show you guys how to change that later in the video but basically if you let your frames go up too high it might like overwork your gpu and then you'll might occasionally drop frames so definitely suggest limiting your frames all right first to limit your frames you're going to go to your game folders under your pc documents my games go to rainbow six siege click yours your account which will be you know the day that you played the game which will be this one for me i go to my game settings it'll pull this up you scroll down right here fps limit you're going to change that to whatever you want so when you run the game if if you're like at like let's say 500 fps and you can only view it at let's say 144 hertz you don't need it at two, 500 fps because it's going to make your gpu run out of control and you're still going to drop frames lower that to like 160 just have it slightly above what your hertz on your monitor is going to be and if you're still having fps issues try if you're let's say you're 144 try going to like 146 or something or 145 just slightly over what your fps on your monitor can actually view we're going to go through the graphic settings so nvidia reflex low latency honestly you just want to have this on this isn't going to make a massive difference but i would just leave it on have that off and then going through this you can raise or lower them however you want but this is the the way to have the lowest graphics possible while having the highest fps possible so you're going to want everything on low lod quality you want on ultra and you're going to want shadow details on medium because there's going to be occasional moments in siege where there's going to be lighting and you're going to be able, want to be able to see that shadow to go through you guys can copy this boom all the way down everything off just lower it as much as you can to maximize your frames seems pretty simple easy enough you can raise things occasionally to, like try to see what works for you and your rig i'm using a 3080 ti right now so i can get away with running a little bit more but i usually have it everything set pretty low because i really want to maximize my fps next thing make sure you update windows I, it's annoying to have to do that but it will fix some inconsistencies like in your entire rig so definitely make sure to do that if you are having frame issues and also update your drivers so you update your drivers as much as you possibly can like on nvidia experience update it to the, the most recent one even though siege is an eight-year-old game the engine is getting updated and it's going to help fix your frame slightly and i personally would recommend running the game on vulcan if you are having some fps issues vulcan is a newer like newer engine and it's going to make your game run a little bit smoother on an older rig i i will always run vulcan because i think vulcan runs better than directx all right and then you're going to search up game mode on your computer you're going to want to turn that on because it will optimize your pc when you are playing a game go to xbox game bar you're going to want to turn this off as well and captures you're also going to want to turn off this will just make your game run a little bit smoother if you want to maximize your frames next you want to go to your graphic settings on your computer search up your rainbow six application and you're going to want to turn it on to high performance to get the most maximum usage out of your gpu I'll make it look a little bit nicer all right next you're going to want to go to power plan you click on advanced power settings and you're going to want to turn on high performance it'll normally have balance or power saver so turn on high performance all right next you're going to right click on your siege application and go to properties it'll pull this up and you're going to want to go to compatibility and you're going to want to disable full screen optimizations and i also have run this program as administrator because i think that does help the performance quite a bit next you're going to go to your nvidia control panel and this is going to make your game look a little bit worse but it's going to run a whole lot better you're not going to notice most of a change in terms of graphics but you are going to notice the frame rate so i'll let you guys just see all these and you guys can copy them uh if you ha have an issue with siege feel free to press restore it'll go back to the default so here's the first part 
the second part. I did change some of these, so just bear that in mind. And the last part, there we go. Next, back on the NVIDIA control panel, you're gonna to go to adjust image settings with preview, and you're gonna lower this all the way down to performance, and this will help maximize your frames. And make sure to hit apply afterwards. Okay, next is a setting that isn't quite something that's FPS related, but I did want to talk about this in this video is enhanced point of precision. So let's say you slide your mouse across your desk with if this is on because it's going to be default on slide your mouse across your desk. If you slide it faster, it's going to go farther. If you slide it slow to the same spot, it's going to go less on your screen. So you're going to want to turn that off to make it a consistent experience the entire way through. So do that. All right, next, you're gonna to wanna to go to Uplay. This is only if you're still having frame issues and you're still looking for that little boost up. So you're gonna to want to go here and you're going to want to turn off in-game overlay. This is going to boost your frames quite a bit. I have it on because I don't have an issue with the 3080 Ti. And then you're gonna to go to notifications and you're going to disable in-game notifications. So you are going to still be able to see invites, but you are gonna to have to physically go to the Ubi Connect at the top. Uh, you won't see anything pop up on your, on your screen. If you're still having frame issues, go through your friends list and make sure that your friends list isn't like mine. This is not the optimal friends list that you should have. Like I have 1,400 friends. Like this will slow down your you play and your game overall just, just slightly. So if you are still having frame issues, try lowering your friends list if you are just accepting friend requests left and right. All right, next you're going to go to the startup apps and go through and disable the startup apps that you don't want on because it'll make your game run smoother because these are going to be on the entire time while you're playing Siege. So go through and disable the ones that you don't want on. I've had a lot of people ask me about my settings and why it looks so beautiful. So this is what you're going to do with your game filters. You're going to lower, make the exposure about zero. Contrast 15, highlights 15, shadows 15, and then gamma slightly down. And that's just gonna make your game look a little bit more crisp and uh, more colorful so you can see things a little bit easier. All right, so next we're gonna talk about monitors. So I use a BenQ240 TN monitor. So this is gonna be how you optimize your monitor. So you aren't gonna be able to see anything on the screen, but I'm gonna talk you through it. So I click the options button and I'm in FPS mode one with 95 brightness, zero black equalizer and 12 color vibrance. So if you go to menu, I'm gonna go through the other settings really quick. You go to picture, brightness is at 95, contrast is at 80, sharpness is at 10, and AMA is at premium. And that what should make your game look pretty nice. The problem with these monitors is that they're really fast and responsive. So in moments like where I'm like shooting, I can control the recoil a lot easier because the response rate is super low. So I'm not getting tearing in this. This is like as smooth as glass. So I'm able to see things with just a glance. So having to make it look a little bit better on your monitor is going to definitely make the monitor a lot more usable because on default, this monitor is going to be very scuffed and you're not really going to be able to see very well. So definitely change those monitor settings. Hey guys, and remember if you have any redundancies, like I have a lot of monitor settings like on my OBS software. So I don't have as many like for NVIDIA game filters, like in game, I have my NVIDIA game filters turned off, but I showed you guys how to set it up. Um, but I also have a lot of ch settings changed on my monitor, so I don't need to use my game filters as much. You can do either way, as long as you get it to the optimal thing that you want. So I showed you guys how to kind of play around with that and what I would use in those situations. So yeah, I, I, the video game filter one looked a little weird on mine because my OBS filters, I didn't delete. So it made it a little bit more what I already do, but further. So don't do redundancies. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. So uh, those are my settings everything that I've changed to make my game run really well. I don't drop frames during the game. I, it runs really smooth. I'm able to win my gunfights. Everything is crystal clear and really responsive. And the graphics look pretty good and the game looks pretty nice. So if you guys like it, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below. And if you have any more questions, drop that down in the comments and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, until next time, peace out.